welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and I am the founder of Love You Candle Company. Um, and here we are with part two, but now we're going to do um, talk about pirate ship. But before we get started, I wanted to remind you guys to please subscribe. Um, it helps uh, me reach monetization. Also, don't forget to um, like and comment below if you have any questions. A lot of you, thank you so much for your sweet, kind words, for wishing me well, and for thanking me so much. Um, this I continue to make videos for you guys, um, especially when I read your feedback of how sweet you guys are. Um, I had somebody actually write something about, oh my God, I feel like I have a friend that's kind of like guiding me through the process. Honestly, that melted my heart. Thank you so much. So today, um, what I wanted to do was jump right in and show you guys how to create a label on uh, Pirate Ship. A lot of people have asked me, can you please make a video on how do you do, you know, your shipping labels on Pirate Ship? Like, how do you, like, what is it that you do? I am completely lost. I don't know what to do. Okay, great. So that's what this video is intended for. Um, if you have never used Pirate Ship, Pirate Ship will give you um, cheaper rates um, versus going to USPS. And what I'm going to do here is I have two tabs open, the USPS, because I want to show you guys what a difference it is in pricing versus if you go through USPS um, versus if you go through Pirate Ship. And just so you know, you can say if you do have an Etsy shop or a Shopify store, you can um, synchronize your stores to Pirate Ship and they will extract your customer's information. That way you don't have to be inputting the customer's address every single time. So let's get started. We're gonna go to rates and I already have my address there. Uh, what you wanna go ahead and do is, um, you wanna go ahead and put the zip code um, and this only pertains if you have like a manual order, but if you have your store synchronized to Pirate Ship, you won't see this because the addresses are gonna be already on there. But let's say if you have a custom order, somebody, hey, can you um, ship me the candles? And they didn't go through your shop or you don't have a shop and you wanna do it manually, this is how you do it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna add um, an old address, the childhood address that I had. And the zip code is 33162. Um, here we go. So here's the main part that you wanna pay attention to. It's what type of packaging are you going to be using? So, so here's the drop down. You're gonna pick um, which, um, which packaging you want. So a flat rate. I've known about flat rate for a while now. When I had my waist training business, I would actually use flat rate because it was actually cheaper doing flat rate. Um, with flat rate, you don't need to pay for the boxes. They actually provide the boxes to you for free. You have two options. You can go either to the USPS and pick some up yourself, or you can go to the USPS website like you have right here. And what you would do is you would go to shop shipping supplies and if my internet would go fast, then you go to free shipping supplies shop now. So everything that's about to pop up on my screen is free. So all of these right here are free. So you would pick here which ones, uh, which boxes you want. Um, so it's totally up to you um, what you want to do, but I would highly suggest to use your own packaging. It is cheaper. Only if you go over a certain amount where, where it's going to make sense. But also keep in mind that these boxes, you can't really um, customize yourself with branding on the outside. If that's important to you, then these are not the boxes to use. But if it's not important to you, you can use them. Um, so, okay, let's go back to Pirate Ship. So for me, I use, I will select on box. And here you're gonna put the dimensions of your box. So for example, um, let's start off with one candle. 
as my, I showed you guys in my previous video from the boxes from Uline. So you will put four by four by six. And typically, um, it's about eight ounces. No, I'm sorry. It's about 13 ounces that my candle with, will weigh with everything inside of it already. So 13 ounces, you will see the option of first class packaging. First class, guys, is the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest of postage. And you see here how they emphasize cheapest. So if we go to um, USPS, it's gonna cost $6.30. But Pirate Ship actually gives you 17% discount and you end up paying $5.23, which that is really good rate for shipping for one candle. But also keep in mind that first class only covers up to, I think it's 13 ounces or 14 ounces. But just to be clear, let's go to the website here and we're going to look at the different um ship shipping all right send so if you're sending first class up to 13 ounces so if your package is over 13 ounces and let me show you guys just so you can see you see how I put 13 ounces? That is the max to um, get first class packaging. The minute I put 14 ounces, hmm, this is interesting. Because if you see here, see I'm learning something. I don't know everything, guys. But if you see here, and I'm glad we're doing this together. If you see here, I actually put 14 ounces and Pirate Ship is still giving me the discount that USPS won't give you because USPS is saying that you can mail up to 13 ounces. However, Pirate Ship, I put 14 ounces and typically, yeah, this is correct because once you reach 14 ounces, that is considered um, priority. And priority, you would have paid eight dollars and ten cents retail but here they're giving you a discount of seven dollars and 46 cents so let's put 15 ounces here let's see if that changes nope doesn't change hmm 16 ounces is a pound so it better change otherwise yep see now it changed now you don't see the um first class option anymore at that point, you would put here one pound and not 16 ounces. So with that, you have parcel um, select ground and you have priority mail, which is $7.46 instead of $8.10. But now you know that in order to ship first class, um, you do need to specify stay under I guess 15 ounces on pirate ship, but 13 ounces on first class. I don't understand why they would do that, but hey, who's complaining? You're still saving money. Um, so yeah, so that's for just one candle. Just keep in mind that's for just one candle. So when you go to get, um, to get, what you would do then at that point is just get raid quote. You would select which one. We're gonna go ahead and select this one. And at this point, you would put your customer's information here, but if your store is synchronized, then you don't need to do that. It's already gonna do it for you. And you would just go to get rates, and then at that point, you just have to print your label. But let's go ahead and backtrack here. And let's use um, the box that I shipped two candles, which is the four. Uh, let's see, it's actually eight. by six by four and let's say this one is one pound and like three ounces we're just hypothetically I'm not saying that's what it is but just hypothetically oh the zip code three three one six two 
So at this point, it would be $7.76 um, for parcel ground and $7.96 for, um, for priority, which the candle rides between one and three days. So the way um, this works is that it depends on the zone. So the reason why they ask you um, your zip code is because the um, if you're shipping from Florida and you're going to be shipping your candle to California, the rate will be a little bit higher. So this is something that you want to go ahead before you even determine how much you're going to sh um, charge for shipping. You definitely want to go ahead and do your homework go on pirate ship and act like you're for going to fulfill an order. If you're gonna fulfill an order, if you're on the West Coast, if you're gonna send it over to the East Coast, that way you know what is the maximum amount that you will ever pay for shipping. You wanna go ahead and do that. So what I do personally is that my packaging material that you saw that I purchased from Uline, that I actually do a cost of good calculation and I bake that price into my shipping costs. Why? Because I do not bake my shipping costs into my candle costs um, because it's not fair because I do have local pickup orders. But just do what works for you. This is just a suggestion. I'm not telling you to do it this way. I'm just giving you little you know, pointers here and there. Everybody tweaks their process to what makes sense for their business. So that is pretty much it for Pirate Ship. Um, there's not too much um, to cover here. I just did want to show you guys how you go on Pirate Ship and pretty much um, create your label and the different in pricing, what would you have to do. Um, so I'm going to do one more. And that is um, for the white box that that one I shipped that it's a little bit heavier. The white box usually... Um, let's put the dimensions first. The dimensions of the white box is 10 um, by 8 by 6. And this one is usually around 3 pounds. Um, between, between 2 and 5 ounces. I'm going to go ahead and put 2. And this one, as you can see, the rate will change. Um, and it just went up by a little bit, $8.58, which this is still cheaper than shipping flat rate. So always keep in mind, if you decide to go flat rate, just know that you're gonna be pay overpaying versus if you purchase your own boxes, you're gonna be saving more money. Um, and that does add up, guys. So, um, if you have any questions about this process, if you're still confused about something, go ahead and leave me a comment below um, with any questions that you have and I will get back to you. If you're still confused, um, I would highly suggest you can go ahead and do um, create a pirate ship account and play around with the website. There's a lot here that you can do, but also you need to keep in mind that you want to already have the dimensions of the shipping boxes that you're gonna use. Otherwise, doing this is gonna be irrelevant. So that's it for now, guys. Um, I am so happy that I was able to make this video that was highly requested. Uh, please leave in the comments also if you have any other suggestions for other videos that you want me to make. But um, aside from that, that's it, guys. Um, have a great weekend. Have a great week. I hope you have a very productive um, journey with your candle um, business. I know a lot of you are just getting started. Some of you um, are just in the um, preliminary phase. Some of you have already started and you're booming. I mean, all of you, congratulations. Um, this is a beautiful um, type of um, company to have, especially if you're making the candles yourself. Anyways, let me start rambling because I do talk a lot. Um, so I'll see you later, guys. Bye.